I found out I was going to Burkina Faso in May 2013. I had never heard of Burkina Faso before then, but I've always wanted to help others. I wanted to travel and I wanted to learn languages to get that off of my bucket list. I live in a compound with about 300 other people and the whole compound, they share a last name. Uh, but within that, there are individual family groupings and they all work together as tiny communes. My typical day in Luaga is I'll wake up, maybe I'll make myself some toast or some oatmeal for breakfast. I'll leave my courtyard, maybe I'll, I'll make the rounds. I'm partnered with uh, savings and loans groups and so I'll go to their meetings. I got three months of training before I came here in French, in Moe. They partnered me up with Catholic Relief Services I work with the CRS agent who organizes and works with these groups and together we show them income generating activities. They give a little bit of money to a social fund and they take that money to buy supplies to start a new IGA like soap or yogurt. <laughs> these profit generating activities, often it's, it's the women that do them. It's more likely that the money is going to be spent on things for the family, like uh, nutritional food or school fees or school supplies. So besides the Mosi in my village, there's also a group of pole people. They live outside the village. There are a group of pastoralists that have settled down. Recently, I've been working with them to make a living fence. And with that living fence, we'll be planting some tomatoes and gumbo and some other garden plants. In the future, they can use this in their food to make a more nutritious meal, and they may also be selling them in the market. It's, it's been great to, to meet with the Poles. In my village, it's 85% Catholic, but everyone there is Muslim. It's neat to see that other side of the culture and, and that religion. They're just a very hospitable, very friendly group of people. <laughs> when I go back to the U.S., I might be a crazy person. I'll be greeting everyone I see, saying, oh, how are you? How are your children? How are you? How's your family? Even though I've never met your family, maybe I've never even met you. Here in Burkina, I meet new people every day, and I have real conversations with them. Hello. 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 Peace Corps has made a profound effect on me. I think I've gained a lot of self-confidence. Um, I've become more resilient. Whatever situation people throw at me, I'm able to handle it better. And it's a great way to, to make new friends and to open up your horizons to different ways of living.